In this video, we are going to show you how to construct a simple on-site biodegradable toilet waste biodigester. Now, the simple on-site biodegradable biodigester toilet system in Ghana uses anaerobic technology whereby microorganisms break down biodegradable materials in an oxygen-free environment. These biodigesters that this channel consistently talks about are used as simple biodegradable means of disposing of human waste which is also in sharp contrast to a septic tank or a cesspit tank. The digesters are also not the same ones that produce biogas as an output. Digester should ideally be sited at a well drained area. So from your site marking and digging, this shape or a diagram like this is what you are trying to achieve. That's a rectangular shape for the digester and then a circular shape for the soak hole pit. The next step to follow is to lay the blocks as if you are using blocks for your work or erect the prefabricated slabs. With the required depth and size achieved, the next step is the erection of the biodigester bed. Now we have erected our slabs and fastened the loose ends together. This will be held and further strengthened with mortar at all the joints, the four corner joints of the precast slabs. Or the next stage is to prepare a soak hole pit and then the drain area is to insert a drain or leche pipe into the biodigester. This is where the leche pipe comes in. So we we'll connect it into the soak hole pit to do just that. The soak hole pit is basically like a soak away it has to be filled with stones for the easy penetration of the wastewater. So we are going to fill the soak hole pit to the desired level, making sure that it goes above the leche pipe all the way to the top before using a black polythene bag to cover it. You can also use a rubber carpet in this case. What this does is that if no concrete or pavement or tiling is done on the ground of the compound, rainwater will not render the soak hole pit ineffective. Those creeding inside the biodigester box with sloping leading to the leche pipe and also leading into the soak hole pit. In some cases and depending on the soil, a concrete mixture could also be used to ensure that you have a gentle slope all the way from the flush unit inlet to the outlet where the leche pipe will be placed. This ensures that there is a continuous flow of wastewater from the digester bed. The next step is to fabricate and install the biodigester filter bed. To support the digester bed and its subsequent load, use bricks, blocks, or in our case, specially designed porous slabs for the bed support. Place them neatly along the edges of the biodigester from one end to the other. If it's a bigger digester bed, an extra blocks or stones can be used to ensure that there is enough weight to hold the bedding material. That's the load. Also ensure that there's spaces to allow for the wastewater or the black water to have an easy passage all the way into the leche pipe through to the soak hole pit. The next thing to do is to place the previous concrete or the porous slabs on these particular blocks or slabs. This is done mainly for the enhanced filtration of the waste water. Cover the bed with fiber net or mosquito netting. Make sure you tack it to the size and then tack it from end to end as well. There must not be any space left around the digester bed. The next thing to do is to cover the net with your chosen or available biodegradable materials. In our case, we are going to use the beaten coconut husk which has been treated into a fiber. So we call them coconut fiber. You ensure that the fiber covers all the surface of the digester bed and is spread all across the digester bed to receive the human waste. And finally, cover the biodigester with the top slab and then seal it, making sure that it is sealed airtight. Use mortar to seal around the digester and design it to suit the desired look and feel.